Lauren, you are beautiful in every way that God and man defines beauty. Your radiance and kindness and life reflect your deep love for your Heavenly Father and for everyone in your world. You are truly one of the most beautiful people I know. Lauren, you understand being chosen by God and set apart for his purposes in a way that very few people do. You've had the privilege of learning early in your life that you can overcome hardships through the blood of the Lamb, the faith and encouragement of your family, and your own relentless dependence upon the Lord. You are such an incredible overcomer, and I applaud you for your resilience and determination. When I see you, I see some parallels with King Solomon, who was appointed king of Israel at just 20 years old. Very early in his young reign, the Lord appeared to him in the night and said, Ask for whatever you want me to give you. In verse 7 of 2 Kings 3, Solomon responds to God and says, I am only a child, and I do not know how to carry out my duties. And Solomon asked of God, Give your servant a discerning heart to govern your people and to distinguish between right and wrong. Solomon could have literally asked God for anything he wanted, but he asked God for a wise and discerning heart so he could know right from wrong and to serve the people of Israel with wisdom. God was so pleased with Solomon's response that he said to him, I will do what you have asked, and I will give you a wise and discerning heart so that there will never have been anyone like you, nor will there ever be. In addition, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honor, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. Lauren, like Solomon, you have chosen not to seek personal greatness or power or glory. At a time when you can ask God for anything, you are asking him for the grace to take his light and love to those in need. God is no respecter of persons. He will not only give you what you have asked for, but he will also crown your life with untold greatness and blessing. Lauren, I challenge you to move forward into this next season with greatness and com with great confidence that God is with you and will empower you to overcome. Deuteronomy 31.6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be intimidated, for the Lord your God goes with you, and he will never leave you or forsake you.